Asia's heaven for food lovers. It has the freshest produce and some of the most exotic ingredients. But cooking them can be quite daunting. I'm Justin Quack, principal chef at Skyline 57 at Singapore's iconic Marina Bay Sands. Using my years of experience in fine dining, I've created my own sauces and some easy to follow recipes that will not only save you time, but let you focus on what matters, the eating. Mmm, delicious. So, let's get cooking. Today I'm here to show you a version of hot pot. As you know that in Asia, we all love hot pot. But as a chef on the weekend, I like to cook a very simple version of hot pot, which everybody thinks is bland. But to me as a chef, I think it's very healthy and good. And what's the secret? I'm going to show you my so-called sesame chili coriander sauce. But for the hot pot to start, use some dry sea kelp. You put them in the hot water in this little hot pot to let it boil for a while, a good half an hour to make sure it got a nice smell. From there, of course, we have prepared some vegetables. Today, I was in the market, I managed to find some very nice vegetables. Some baby spinach, broccolini, okay, xiao pai chai, golden mushroom, turnip, winter melon, corn, as well as this one of my favourites, it's actually yao mak, which I find locally in Hong Kong, Singapore, even Taiwan and China. Every ingredient here will give you different flavour. Example, corn will be very, very sweet. Now we go. Basically, put them in first. Corn, but it's okay that you overboil them. So, onion to give sweetness. So, for this, golden mushroom, just split them up lightly. Sweet potato, because this will take a long time to cook. Even cabbage, just put it in. It's okay. Some winter melon. My family always asks me to do this sauce when they're having hot pot. So, I decided to put this thing in a bottle. But this thing doesn't contain any energy. So, when you buy, you put in the fridge, it can last you for a year and a half. So basically, just pour them in. If you look at the colour, it's very, very nice. But I myself would suggest that some chopped coriander over here, where you put in, where you get the nice fragrance. Also, some chopped garlic for some spiciness, which is balanced. If you like it more spicy, you can add in some chili body, just a little touch of it. It's done. So let's check the hot pot. Let's put in some broccoli. Spinach. So basically, just cook it slowly. So I like to use natural sea salt. As you can see, that the vegetable is cooked right now. The green is perfect. They didn't lose the color feel. I'm going to taste it with my sauce right now. Crunchiness of the, of the stem of the vegetable. Sweetness. Fragrant, a touch of spice. The fragrance is actually from the sesame. This is lovely. That's why I can eat it every weekend. And I hope you like it too. So now I'm gonna enjoy this soup together with some vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> 